Can I play for you the clip that got Don Lemon fired? Yeah. So this is from Aaron Rupar, the notorious, uh, what is he still with Vox? I don't know where he works. Uh, I guess not. He's, uh, according to the New York Times, this interview that Don Lemon conducted last week with Vivek Ramaswamy played a role in his firing. Note, co-host Poppy Harlow sitting silently while Lemon goes after Vivek. Check this out. Is it going to play? I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that. You hear, that wait, wait, wait. I got to pause. You hear that? Don Lemon is talking to the producers, oh, telling them to stop yeah. talking in my ear. They're probably saying, Don, shut the up. up stop. And he goes, I can't, I can't do this. And then he goes off. Wait, say, it's say not the first time he's done this. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Black Amendment rights have, were secured. They That's were a not fact. secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War. And, and that things turned around. People what tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they the got it? They got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the final... The NRA did the, not play a big role in that. Absolutely, they trained black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role This in is that. just historical fact. It's, but it's down not a historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find... because you say it's historical the fact. The part that I find insulting fact. is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through civil rights revolution in this country. you are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the way I live the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the a different point of view. Black and white that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we should whatever say. ethnicity you are, explaining to me. Whatever so ethnicity you Whatever ethnicity you are. Yeah, that was That is bad. I'm proud of it, but I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on the content of the ideas. Do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? It, with, but we with, appreciate you coming on. With, could you imagine buying a car that's been just like stained with Don Lemon's crap? I got it. And then you're like trying to convince people you're making it better, but Don Lemon keeps crapping in the front seat. I got to be honest. I am so sick of whatever ethnicity you are privilege. <laughs> it is. Whatever ethnicity you are. Wow. <laughs> no, I just want to be Poppy Hill right now. He went like, for being geez. racist without knowing what without race Without even he knowing. He's like, he's like, I don't know what stereotype to insult you with. <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to assume there is something. So, uh, but... I think the the real re the real reason I got fired is right there in the beginning. I'm gonna play that again. So, With due respect, including. I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to Black Americans, to say that Black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So I right there, I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. CNN is so horribly mismanaged. I bet they were saying stop arguing be a journalist stop arguing ask him his views and move on and don was like no black if, lives matter if he asks some questions he might know what ethnicity he is mm -hmm. that's right no that's no right. no it's not about uh who he's interviewing it's about don lemon right mm -hmm. he's exactly. here to make these points whatever ethnicity you are and move on Dude, i think that's what's hard he is used to interviewing guests who are maybe a little sycophantic he's not prepared to not that vivek is being hostile they're just obviously on different sides so he's not prepared to go into an interview with someone who he disagrees with he wants people to support his beliefs only and i think that summarizes a lot of the hosts on cnn and their viewership right it is ultimately to reinforce your own worldview whereas like contrasting tucker tucker is like look we got to talk about this stuff that's happening even if you don't like it or even if you're skeptical about it